subscribing is easier than getting a bullet in your wagon. Please watch this video all the way through to support the channel. Well, another lip sync thing. Could this be the best one yet? Remember to watch all my old videos and click the thumbs up. Well, I guess your next question is how many seconds can this last? Hey, just a short video on AI late to class, trying out a new lip syncer called Humo based on WAN 2.1. I've done a bit of testing on this today. I've found out that it's pretty good for people within a certain distance, meaning if they're sort of close up, not too far back, but not too close up, and it doesn't seem to like characters that are sort of foreign to it, like an alien or something like that. Doesn't really like cartoons or illustrations too much. Is it better than, let's say, Infinite Talk or um, Fantasy Portrait Mix with Multi Talk or even the new WAN 2.2? speech to video uh, for some things i've found it is as far as humans go just the facial structure is held together a lot more but you can only have five seconds of footage with this so it's not so good versus those because you can get a lot longer with the context node and that but anyway it's worth giving it a go just to do little bits and pieces and hopefully there'll be some sort of update that can get it going further so let's have a look at how to set this up. Here we're on the website. There's a couple samples here. Now they're not comparing it to the Fantasy Portrait, Multi Talk or Infinite Talk or even the One 2.2 Speech to Vocal. It's just got some of these older ones like Fantasy Talking and that. But it's still... Love is the one thing we're capable of perceiving. That so quite a good example, but they would have cherry-picked that possibly. Looking at the workflow, we've just got our upload an image. Over here is my prompt. Old man is issuing a dial warning. Above that is our text encoder, the UMT5. I'll have a link to that in the comments. And we just go up above that a bit. Now this is where I've got my Humo K4 uh, GGUF model. You can have the FP8. It's very big, so I'm using these GGUFs. And I'll have a link to those. Um, I'll just show you up here. This is where we get that from. And we've got a Q4, Q6 and Q8. And you can see the sizes there. So I went for the smallest one. It'll be good to see the quality of the others. See if it does anything different. But on this I've gone for the lowest. And looking up further. I've got block swap over here. I've got that at 30, I probably could have had that lower, I hadn't really tried that out yet. Up above we've got our Light X2V, I've got the I2V one here, this is the 8 step. Um, I'll have a link to that in the comments where to get that. Well over here we've got our WAN 2.1 VAE safe tensor there. And going further down here, these are the new models that we need to be aware of, right? This Melbourne Roformer. FP16. So I've got that over here. There's two versions here. I've got the FP16, but you can get the FP32. You can see it's double the size. And that goes in the same folder as the diffusions folder. So that goes in with your Humo model as well. But this one above here, that goes in a folder called audio encoders. Right, so under models there should be a folder called audio encoders and this is where this Whisper Large V3 encoder goes in. On Kaijai this is your Whisper Large V3 encoder here. Up above it if you want the FP16 of the Humo you can get that but you can see it's 34 gigabytes, so that's very big. Back in the workflow we need to go down here to upload our audio. It can be an MP3 or a WAV file. Um, if you experience some flashing like I have with some of them but not all of them um, you can go and watch my other video tutorial here on speech to video and there you're using audacity to just sort of push the clip a little bit forward so then when it outputs you can sort of trim the front off if there's a bit of flashing there but you'll still get a nice lip sync out of it. Unlike uh, S2V, this only happens sometimes on some of my testing, um, so it doesn't happen all the time, so it may not be a problem to you, it just depends on your input picture. These samples I did were 512 by 512, but you can go for the normal one 
2.1 resolution which is 832 by 480 or you can do the 720 depending on what models you've got over here is where you actually put in the amount of frames so in this case i've got 125 because i've got five seconds at 25 frames per second and on this output is where i've actually allocated the 25 frames per second i'm not going to go into the workflows for the samples i showed at the start because they're all exactly the same as this the only difference is the prompt is a little bit different not much and of course the audio and the images are different now i got my images from google banana and i got my audio from play ht so everything can be done for free anyway i'm going to go we'll see you in the next video